Hi everyone, Anna here. Um, I'm glad that you are still tuned into my channel. I'm sorry it's been a really long time since I've uploaded anything. I promise to get better at it. Um, and I'm just doing a makeup tutorial on this look. It's kind of like a sun-kissed freckle look. It's perfect for summer. And then these are drawn on freckles. So if you want to learn how to do that, um, then keep watching and then I appreciate you guys watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe as well. I'm doing this as a request from the Facebook group Glam Squad and if you wanted to add to it just comment down um, your Facebook user and then I can add you right onto the group. We are trying to get to 10k users so that we can do a huge giveaway and we're super close. So um, comment down on your username and I'll make sure to add you guys. Bye! Hi everyone, so this is going to be my sun kissed freckles tutorial and then I'm going to show you how to achieve that look. What you need to do is prime. I am using the Urban Decay Pore Perfecting Complex Primer Potion. And I always prime because my piece is, my skin's really oily and you can... And then I go in with the Smashbox Photo Finish Hydrating Under Eye Primer. That on my finger, touch it under the eyes. And later, eyeshadow primer. I want to make sure all of my colors stays. Pharmacy Antioxidant Lip Prime. That's my little boy. He's so cute. Serum foundation and natural finish, and this is in the color latte. And you gotta shake it up here. I really like this because it's super sheer for summer, so it's great, but it has a lot of fantastic coverage on it. And then I just put this up here on my hand, a small little dot, and then just apply this all over my face. He just wants to make up like mom. Okay, and then I use my beauty blender and then I just go in here and blend this in. It has really good coverage for being a sheer. With a concealer, I'm using the Derma Blend Professional and Smooth Liquid Camo. And this is in the color sesame. I love this stuff. It works really, really well. The way that they advertise it is that it can cover up your tattoos. So I know that it will do the job. And then I just put on stuff that I want to cover. I will. Another type. This is the Physician's Formula 2-in-1 Concealer, and I just use the yellow side. And then I take it and I add it in a triangle, and this will help better conceal these under eye circles. And we got to powder our face. Since my skin is oily, my favorite kind of powder is the Rice Powder by Hot Polydano. This is in the color Translucent and this one's in the color Natural. I like to mix them together, together because it creates the best color. This one is a little bit too dark and this one's a little bit too light so I like to put them together. So I should have about that much loose powder. I take my e.l.f. Um, Kabuki brush, just dab that in there, pat off the extra powder. This kind of makes a mess, but it works really, really well. And then you kind of like dab it onto your face.
as you can see the shine has gone down significantly I absolutely love for our highlighting and contouring and I'm using the elf cosmetics contour palette and so like that comes with four shades and then I'm taking my highlighter brush by Luxie and 522 tapered highlighter and then I'm just gonna take this color right here and put it on the tops of my cheek give my skin a little bit of a highlight and bring it up into my forehead do take my Echo Tools brush in the domed bronzer and then take this color right here. It's like a light brownish color. And then apply that in the areas where you would normally contour. And then I'm going to take my Tarte um, blush in the shade Captivating. It's a little bit squishy. And then just take some on there. I'm going to apply that onto the tops of my cheeks. Replace any color I may have lost with my concealer. Use the Crown Brush and C224, the Oval Concealer. And then I have this little itty bitty Mary Lou Manitizer Illuminating by The Bomb Cosmetics. And then I'm just going to take a tad bit of this and apply it into the inner corner of my eyes and brush it underneath. And finish highlighting a little bit around my eye area. And I am going to be using the Celia Hello Beautiful Eyes and Ivory Highlighter. And it's just like a little pencil. I'm going to take this and draw a line underneath my eyebrows. The Paula Dorf Enhancer Baby Eyes. And it's like, I'm almost out of it, but it's like this little nude colored eyeliner and I'm going to put that okay and then next I'm going to start applying the eyeshadow I'm using my Naked 2 Urban Decay Basics palette I absolutely love this because it's small and travel size and then it has all of the necessary colors and then I'm going to be using the crown brush and C476 crease and eyeshadow and then I'm taking the smaller end of it and applying it into the color Skimp, which is this one right here. I'm just going to take that and apply it to the inner corners of my eyes. Okay, and then I'm going to take the wider brush and then use the color Stark, which is the next one right here. And I'm just going to apply that all over my eyelid. This is like a base color. Okay, and then I'm going to take the color cover, which is right here, and apply that on the outer ends and crease. Of Perfect. And that's all that we're going to do for the eyeshadow, and then we gotta blend it in a little bit. So I'm just going to use this Me 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 um, face shadow or face brush and then just blend that in a little bit. If you have like an actual blender brush that would work so much better because it's like the same shape but it's smaller. I had one but my son took off with it so I don't know where it And next we're going to apply some eyeliner on the top half and I'm using the ColourPop cream gel eyeliner and the color get paid and that's just like this really pretty gold color and I'm going to take that and apply it to the top color 
area of my eyelid. Okay, and then I'm gonna take that same eyeshadow brush and just blend that in a little bit. The It Cosmetics Brow Power Universal Eye Pencil, it's double sided. And then I'm going to use the pencil side here and just fill my eyebrows in a little bit. I don't want them to be too dark. And I'm just gonna brush that out so that this blends in better. Wow. Okay, then I'm going to set that using the Cover Girls Natural Lash uh, Mascara and it's just in clear. Is we're going to move on to the freckles, which we have been waiting this whole video for. In the Lord and Berry um, number 3035 nude lip liner. It's just like this creamy brown color. I like to use <clears throat> the lip liner for these because it stays a little bit longer. And so I'm just going to try and pull it in here close to you guys. And then use the magnifying side of my mirror so I can get in here. And I'm going to start applying these little dots. Starting on the inside because we want this to look as natural as we possibly can. And then as we move out, make them a little bit farther apart. And then we're going to move it out to the side here the side of our head to try and get it to blend in a little bit better. And then I'm going to take that same bron domed bronzer brush and I'm just going to kind of like blend them a little bit so they don't look so dominant. Start to look a little more natural. Like that. Okay, perfect. And then we set our makeup. I'm using the Mario Bad Baduski Facial Spray with Aloe Herbs and Rose Water. I absolutely love this brand. I use their skincare line as well. And we just want to set that to make sure that it stays. And then next I am using the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes Mascara. So for my lips, I'm using the Pacifica Natural Minerals Natural Lipstick in the shade Nudie Red. It's just like this really nudish color here. I'm gonna apply that to my lips. I love this lipstick because it's like, or this shade, because it's like your lips but better. Okay, just like that. And then I take a little bit of gloss. I have this Tarte Energy Lip Gloss. And I'm just going to take a tad bit of it and apply it in the inners just to make your lips look a little bit more plump. Because I'm using our music top ones in the 53 black, I need to get these at Walmart. And then the trick that I like to do is since I have a hard time applying the entire full lash, what I'll do is I'll cut it into sections of three. So I'll cut it like right here and then right here. It's a little bit easier to apply. And then, um, if it doesn't like match the shape of your eyes okay. and then I'm going to get my mirror sorry I'm gonna put it down here so if I'm not looking directly at you I apologize and then I'm going to use the zoomed in side so I can get close and see here oh they're by salon perfect that's how they have it it comes with a glue and I'm using that glue and then also just some really fine point 
tweezers. Might as well help me apply them. I'm just going to take the glue and put it. Oh, you can't even see it right there. Okay, and you don't want too much glue on that, or it's going to be really hard to apply because it's going to slide around everywhere. And then we just let that dry for like 20 seconds um, with my tweezers like this in my mirror and then I'm just going to come in here and set it down like this let that dry and then squeeze my eyelashes together or the fake eyelashes with my real eyelashes okay and there's one and it's that easy and then we just repeat until we have done both eyes the finished look. 